I think a thing that the, an audience takes for granted a lot is that everybody knew going in that this is what the film was going to look oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Like, it, as if somehow they watched a, an animatic of the film and said, oh, okay, now I know what movie I'm in, let's go make it, right? And, and is, that, is that sort of the hardest thing, is figuring out as an actor what movie you're in and, and having the director be able to sort of share that with you? But that's part of it. But when you said that, it reminded me that when I made Grand Budapest Hotel yeah. with Wes Anderson, he showed me an animatic, a stick figure animatic, and he did all the voices. Really? And it was the movie. And I was like, Wes, this is beautiful. Forget it, you know, just release this, you know, it's fantastic, you know? <laughs> and some people didn't even want to watch it because some of the actors didn't want to watch it because they didn't want to hear him say their lines. He didn't want to see things worked out. They wanted to find their, me. I can understand that. But me, I loved it because then a certain kind of structuring, a kind of ordering was done and you could enter into it in a more complete way. Yeah. It's like, you know, when you think about imitation or copying, it's considered a, 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 a dirty thing. It's impossible to absolutely copy. But sometimes if you have a strong form, you, you're more fluid inside that form. <laughs>